Avinash walks up, claps his hands together, uh, looks at the five, and you guys were sort of deep in conversation, you guys are deep in conversation over here with, with uh, Stalker, and you see that uh, Avinash comes over and says, whew, well, that is maybe the fastest I've ever gotten it done, uh, and it is done, and so, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is going to take a long time. It's fine. All your bones. It's all your bones. He's had a schedule. Well, again, we had an agreement, which is that I get your bones if I don't have my bones. So, okay. You know, I can do a little mm-hmm. cursory glance here, and I'm going to tell you, I think they're all there. Oh, well, great. Well, then we're all good. Uh, the crown is perfect, and you guys have it, and that's great. Thank you. What, what is this crown? <laughs> we take the crown. Um, he's not holding it. Right. Is it over on the on the anvil? No, I gave it to your friend. Uh, you give it to Hamhead. Uh, the little one. God <gasps> fucking damn. It. Oh. oh wait, wait, no. What? Um, no. I no, gave it just, to uh, little Hamhead. Didn't. I am uh, 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 Jeremy. Sniff her out. <laughs> Immediately, just looking across the entirety <laughs> of the caldera. Um, we we all start. Yeah, he says, yeah, I gave it to Hamhead and... Um, the one in the chains? Uh, yeah, I... Uh, she wasn't in chains when uh, I gave her the crown. I, You guys were talking. I went over, checked in on her. I had the forge tools. She was like, hey, uh, and I popped the chains um, and then gave her the crown. She took out. She asked me to put the anvil in the lava, points over, and you guys see the anvil... <laughs> Uh, explodes in flame, and he goes, so... So... Someone push him in lava. <laughs> 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 so he goes, no water! <laughs> oh, and it uh, hits the lava, bursts into flame, <laughs> and is gone. Um, to the jail cell that uh, Liam walked out of, because it's been open because Liam and Theo walked out of it. You glance down there, uh, hanging from a wall, uh, like in shackles, uh, unconscious and tortured looking. You just catch a glimpse through this like slit on a, on a 20 DC uh, is Manta Ray Jack. What the fuck? Um, the Pontifex looks at you and says, King Amathar of the House of Rocks, who is your lawful wedded wife? King Amathar of the House of Rocks, I put the question to you with your hand on the Holy Book of Leaves, your sister's book. Who is your lawful wedded wife? Though I am currently married to the Queen Carmelinda of Candia, I was previously married to a, a woman of the Dairy Islands. This marriage, it was performed by Father Belford Buttercream of the Bulbian Church, is this correct? How do you know that? <sighs> yes. And this marriage, it was never annulled, this is correct? The war was a confusing time. And though the annulment was never official, he believed. I can imagine marrying a common milkmaid. The war, she moves, cannot be found to annul the marriage. Rare that a prince marries a commoner. Still, there is no Queen Cara Melinda of House Rocks. You became an oath breaker the moment that you agreed to marry her. There has never been a marriage between Cara Melinda of House Rocks because you could not enter into that promise in good faith. So indeed, there is only Cara Melinda of House Meringue and her two bastard daughters. Call me that again. I pronounce you false, an adulterer. And from this moment forward, you are excommunicated from the Balbian church. As such, you may hold neither land nor title. Archbishop, 
seeing that the king of Candia is no longer king, to whom does the crown of Candia belong? The archbishop pipes up and says, uh, Your Holiness, the crown in this instance, given that the daughters are bastards and uh, Karen Melinda of House Meringue is no longer a member of the royal family, passes to Duke Joran Jawbreaker, who is in open rebellion. The pontifex says, Then Candia has seceded from the Concord. Its alliance is broken. It is at war with the Concord. God no. sees them. What about what does Sanctuary do? They this they both bypassed the wisdom check for Sanctuary. Uh, so you see Galir goes, get them, Fabian! Ah! And you see one, both of them go right for Galir. One of them just rains, boom, boom, boom! Galir what? immediately dead. Full dead. What? Full dead. What? <laughs> Galir uh, is what? dead? Wait, he even took the dodge action, did he? You're right. Hold on one second. Oh. I did take the dodge action. What? Everyone at home, please pray right now. We need for all Galir. the energy for in Galir. the world Galir. right now. Please hold on. And I will. Tell everybody to oh send my God! Him call your bad call, bad call your family. Call Ask your them. representatives. We need Congress Here's the thing. behind Galir Here's the right thing. now. <laughs> Even with disadvantage, these do hit him on a roll of three or higher. So we need a one or a two. I'm gonna roll it in front of the board. Guaranteed two. Guaranteed, Guaranteed two. two. Guaranteed two. Oh. It didn't. It doesn't count. Come on, man. Yeah, it's it cock. I'll roll again because yeah, it's damn right it is. One or two. That's a nineteen. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, what? so, uh, you see that, uh, Galir immediately looks up, ha! BAM! He just sprawls, bam, on the floor, Jesus blood. <laughs> no well, death saves, full dead. No, we can bypass death saves. The minimum damage from this thing is enough to put him way, way under. Fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sir, I'm mortal if they if they live in their homeland. Riz takes off down the hall and tries to find uh, somebody else. Uh, <laughs> as you take off, you see he says, However, there are times when great magic can work wonders. You motherfucker! You see, he reaches into his coat and takes out um, a swirling ball of fire uh, <laughs> with surrounded by pieces of like, red feathers. You see, he says, the egg of the last phoenix. However, death will exact its price. There is foul play in this school. Only you can save us. A life for a life. Hey, eh, Mr. Gibbons? You see Mr. Gibbons goes up and says, I'm sorry, what? And you see that Principal Eggfort takes out a gun and shoots Mr. Gibbons in the head. <laughs> and then takes the gun and says, the price must be paid. Bam! And shoots himself in the head. Gorgog and Kristen, you come back to life. What the fuck? <laughs> Lady, what, what about her life? It could have counted for one of them. Uh, you're all back at full hit points. What the fuck is what, did you, what did you just do? We gotta go, guys. Chris just starts like cleaning not, up. Will someone take my body, please? Everybody, I, oh, no, everybody's, everybody's, everybody's at full health. Everyone really? is at full health. Yeah. You're surrounded Maybe by fiery I should kill phoenix. Myself. You guys are surrounded by- Is this by still going? If I kill myself, will I save Doreen? Uh, <laughs> is there a magic energy? You are surrounded by fire, flame, energy. Do uh, it. The fiery flame energy is gone by the time you are fully uh, uh, so back. So if I kill myself, I will bring Doreen back. Oh, you don't don't think it. See that uh, we're gonna enter initiative. Uh, as all this chaos erupts, oh um, you see that Galir Faith looks around and goes, uh, um, Captain Seacaster, my name is Galir Faith. Is there a safe place to hide? And you see uh, Captain Seacaster goes, ha, 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 for the honorless dog that fucked my wife? No! Boom! <laughs> and shoots Galir in the chest. What? what? Um, um, no! I, can I? Papa! <laughs> for can 24 I points of damage. Can I jump dead. in the and cast shield? Uh, we're going to no. begin initiative with Bill Seacaster steering the ship. Oh, God. Blasting Galir Fayed in the chest. Galir Fayed is fully dead. <laughs> is that Wait. what I wanted to see? What was his, what was his no, not at all. Huh? Did Galir level up with us? No. <laughs> uh, you feel a knife plunge into your back. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Shit. Uh, I'm going to need uh, three Constitution saving throws. We'll play this game again. Oh, no. Amethar, you take 
34 points of damage mm -hmm. and are paralyzed. Mm. Can you Eight. talk if you're paralyzed or no? No, you can't do anything if you're paralyzed. Great. Um, Calroy puts a gloved hand over your shoulder and twists the dagger into your back. <clears throat> you feel your body freeze up, staring out over the estates of Candia. See, he goes, you know what I always hated about you, Amathar? Oh. <gasps> you were so damned lucky. I mean, fifth in line for the throne and the crown rests on your head, and each of your sisters better and more clever than you. It really makes the unfortunate minor lord of a less than wealthy barony feel, I don't know, a little underwhelming. <laughs> oh. I'll say your sisters were a little bit less lucky. The least lucky thing that ever happened to Rococo was when she found out that I was selling weapons to the Ceresians. That, that had to be dealt with. And I think you'll remember how strange it was that she was found riddled with arrows so far behind our own lines. But that's war and strange things happen all the time. The Ceresians I find are very reasonable. Very reasonable. And you can see some of their tents out here in the field. Oh my God, all along he's cake, he's part, oh my God. You know, <laughs> I don't have luck, so I have to work. I have to work a lot. First, I had to put the little cheese boy onto the scent of the uh, Duchess cold bottle. And I had to ferry his idiot sailors all the way up the Sucrosi Road to that little farmhouse. I mean, it had to get them there somehow. They couldn't sail there, could they? And they would be so suspicious walking up the road. And yet, you miraculously survive when you should have died. Amathar the Unfallen. You uncharacteristically leave a fight. You jump out of the ring rather than trying to behead that carrot. And they call the tournament, even with all the work that me and Alfredi put into getting those water steel daggers into her hands. I, I thought I was going to fail. And then, and then your friend Manta Ray Jack mentioned a girl at the banquet stashed somewhere in the Derry Islands. And I thought, that's so interesting. Amethar and I are best friends, war buddies as far back as we can remember. Why would he never tell me? And I got to thinking, Amethar was never quiet about his exploits as a roving prince of Candia. So why didn't I hear about this girl? And I thought I'd better talk with Manta Ray Jack. He didn't want to talk, but a few fingers and pints of blood later, we remembered your sister's book. Very useful, your sister. Very useful indeed. Up until a young Elizabeth Brassica ordered her run down in the street by vegetarian knights. That, that hurt because she had always been very sweet to me. Well, after Manta Ray, you saw an opportunity. You know, it hurts to have all of your plans fail, but they say that improvisation is the better part of planning, so I was happy to take advantage of that opportunity when it presented itself, Amethar. You know what happens to a man when he dies? He shits himself. So I'll be happy to watch you shit one last time. He grabs your ankles and goes, I wonder if they'll call you Amathar the Unfallen after this. Here's to a future you can't ruin. <laughs> and heaves you over the walls of the castle. 